With summer almost here, a lot of Bay Area kids are looking forward to going off to camp. But a lot of low-income youngsters simply don't have that opportunity. And a new report says that lack of access is putting them even further behind in school. Sadly, though, the moment they walk out that campus door, they begin forgetting some of the stuff they spent months learning. Well, summertime can be dangerous to the physical and academic health of our low-income young people. Today, only one in four children in California are able to go to a summer learning program because of the budget cuts. As superintendent of all six million students in California and all 10,000 schools, I declared a financial emergency. One third of the funding is gone. The disproportionate negative effect in California is that low income and children of color are experiencing these cuts uh, in devastating ways. And California, we're losing ground. We're letting go of our young people. I mean, I think it's our duty to make sure that they have um, somewhere to go, some place to feel safe, some place to engage with caring adults. Well, we're losing tremendous opportunity to advance these students even beyond what we've done during the school year academically. But also, we're missing opportunity for these and students to enrich their lives. It's about the whole student. It's not just about reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's about music. It's about dance. It's about art. It's about athletics. It's about activities that help these students become better citizens and contributing community members. I look at myself and I'm like really glad that I've been blessed with so many things. And I really wish that these opportunities were open to everyone. And we're going to be like learning and celebrating all the programs for the summer. You know you are. Oh my God, Justin Bieber. I love you. I welcome you here to Sacramento and thank you for focusing and being good ambassadors for summer learning, for our summer school. Summer is a wonderful opportunity, whether or not it's sports, or going to museums, or going to the library, or you know, just experiencing other things that you wouldn't have time to do during the regular school year. I started as an economics major, and then I became a history major. I like history a lot. Why do you think so many people lose knowledge while they're at summer? When you exercise, when you stop exercising, you still have what they call muscle memory, but you lose a lot of the gains you made, so your mind's the same way. If you don't, you know, if you don't exercise it and use it and challenge it, you lose the health that you provided it when you were learning and thinking and reading. He's like a senator and you have to respect him, but he's like just like a normal person that you see every day. He's, he's fun. Yeah. Es una gran ayuda para la comunidad de estos programas. Los tendríamos todo el día en la casa y pues nada más en la televisión y en los juegos, echándole kilitos a la obesidad. It's important for us to do physical activity so we can feel better about ourselves. So. We could get in better shape and have a healthier body. It's about having fun too. The student-teacher relationship, it's a bond that cannot be comparable to any other social relationship. Three breath. Seeing the results, seeing the improvement, whether it be academically, mentally, or physically, in all aspects, that is what keeps me coming back. I have three favorite things, the pool, the field trips, and, and like the chat and what we do in the classroom. The main focus is health awareness and we're promoting fruits, vegetables, and physical fitness. So we have incorporated swimming, full of activities, basketball, soccer, etc. Another one of our core emphasis is STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So those are probably at our core, as well as literacy. We're trying to improve the literacy of our youth. Togo, Togo. Togo, that's a good one. And these summer learning programs are great opportunities to create the opportunity for kids during the day when parents are working to engage in structured outdoor physical activity and a little old-fashioned play. I'm just here to have fun. I'm here 
to be at Malibu Creek and have the best time with my friends. It's just a great opportunity for the parents because then they know that their kids are going to have fun during the summer, but yet they're still going to learn and they don't have to worry about, you know, finding a babysitter or leaving them alone and having the, having the anxiety of, oh my gosh, like what's going to happen to my kid alone in the house? Kids want to feel good. I mean, we, we seek that positive reinforcement and that, that feeling good. If we can prepare kids during the summer to come in and, and have that positive experience at the beginning of the year, there's so much good about that that's way more than academic and I think um, summer learning and summer learning opportunities done well do so much for all of our kids in our community.